welcome to the highlights of this second T20I between Pakistan and South Africa women for the Pay Park Presents Go Loot Low series. Pakistan skipper Nida Dar won the toss and she decided to bowl first. Here's a look at both the lineups. Tariq Rashid calls for play. One slip in place. And this phase of the game will be very exciting. First ball of uh, the second T20 International. Down the wicket. She's lifted that and nice and easy. It's very straight. One bounce into the fence. The first boundary from the bat. Pulls that one just past mid-wicket. It's going to be a lot of run from deep square leg. Won't cut it off. Boundary to start the over. Yeah, a little too wide. She's done a lot of effort to put bat onto that. We'll have to wait for the umpire's call. It's gone to the boundary. We'll see if he's signaling by. No, it's a boundary. She's got that uh, bottom edge. Ball fought. And chance over Alia for a boundary. Really putting Fath Masana under pressure. This hasn't been a good start to the over, but Laura Wolfart deciding to give the charge. Down the track, over the head. One bounce and over the ropes of four. That is brilliant by Wolfart. Backed offside. Mm, this time on the offside. Sliced it. That is incredible batting. You don't drop catch of a caliber player like her. She's going to punish you. Nicely flaked through the gap. Will it have enough legs? Alia doing the chase, but she won't be reaching that. That's another boundary for Brits. The batter responds in a very good way, coming down the track, playing it right in between the two fielders for a boundary. Volvard is not stopping. And this can be a chance. And it is well taken by Fatma Sana. Excellent catch by Fatma Sana. Well, Nashra has achieved what she wanted and she gave the breakthrough to Pakistan. You see, you've got to hit it very well. First, the ball is spinning away. Earlier, she tried to hit it against the spin, and this time around went with the spin, but couldn't get that distance. Captain walks the first breakthrough for Pakistan. It took the pace off the ball. Nashra Sandhu bowled her four overs for just 20 runs and a wicket. This is a big hit. Has she got all of it? Yes, she has. Bisma Maruf was interested for a moment. But she had enough power behind that. Tasmin Brits looking to break free against the spinners of Pakistan. A little bit of room on offer. There's no fielder back there. That will trickle into the fence. A much needed boundary for South Africa. Merizan Cap brings up the 100 for South Africa. Down the wicket. This very, very high opportunity here. We'll take some catching. And taken. Very nicely done. Kept her eyes on the ball. Bisma Maruf. And takes an absolute skyer. Superb by the former captain. Looking for her 50 with that big one. It was in the air for a long, long time. It needed an experienced player like Bisma. And she made no mistake. Lucky that she didn't. Tasman Brits played well. Bisma Maruf taking the catch of Sadek Bal. 46 she made of 48. Oh, she's got good part of the bat on that one. One bounce and boundary. Second in the over. Cap it strong. She used all that force and that bottom hand in that. Very fine. Nicely done. Will be a bit of a chase for Nashra there. Yeah, she does well. Coming back on the throw. Chance of a run out here. Yes, that should be out. Should be out. Looks in trouble, yes. 
Very smart work by the wicketkeeper. There you go. Now the umpire is blocking. Well, you can see the bales just around to the left of the umpire's hat. And then you notice where the bat is. There. You can see the bale now. It should be out. And out. Wicket number three falls, 130 for three. Shot. That's hit hard. That's hit straight. Has it gone all the way? What does Alia feel about this? No, umpire is pretty sure. He says it's a boundary. Oh, she swung her bat. One more boundary. That's a good start to this final over. Back-to-back -back boundaries there. Oh, shot. That's a shot and a half. This over has got them three boundaries and 14 of the over takes them to 150 again pakistan women have the exactly same target in match two south africa posted exactly the same total like they did in the first t20i 150 for three once again a great opening partnership between laura Wolfart and tasmin brits brits was the top scorer with 46 and a little cameo towards the end by Dick Clark. He made 21 of 11. Sadia Iqbal and Nashra Sindhu grabbed one wicket each and also bowled very tightly in the middle phase of the innings. And South Africa couldn't accelerate despite having so many wickets in hand. Pakistan will require 151 runs to win this historic series against South Africa. Probably the best time to bat with the new ball when it will slide on better. Marizan Cap to begin the proceedings. And like we saw, this is the fourth innings of this series that we're watching. And the best time to score has been with the new ball, Lena. Nicely crunched through the gap. And the fast outfield will do the rest. Sidra needed that boundary. There you go. This is very clever. Not allowing the spinner to settle. Back-to-back -back boundaries for the experienced Sidra Amin. Absolutely love this improvisation. You watch another one go in the air. And gone. Little bit too adventurous too soon. But Shawal Zulfikar showed that she had the intent to go hard in the power play. The youngster perishes. You cannot take 11 balls for your four runs and this is what pressure does. It makes you play false strokes. There was a fielder in uh, at long on. And easy peasy lemon squeezy gone. Uh, the youngster Shawal. 23 for one. Four overs gone. Again, Sidra trying to capitalize as many balls as possible. And this went towards the boundary. Good shot by Sidra Amin. Over mid off. Yeah, Tofi Kumar, the batting consultant, likes it. First ball and boundary. Just using the pace. That's the class of Bisma Maruf. It was wide, angling away from her, and she just opened the blade. That's uh, just over that field, at fine. That's a very good shot. A lot of improvisation in that. She made her mind up, walked across, and just scoops that over that fielder, Sidra. Up and over, room on offer, and punished. And that's 50 for Sidra Amin. Third 50 in T20 international cricket. What a wonderful knock this has been. At an exhilarating pace as well. Standing ovation for Sidra Amin. 
the side chasing should win it 61 of 45 oh she's gone beaten in flight middle stump and that is the wicket they wanted to break this partnership this is exactly what i was saying uh, panic could uh, set in you lose a wicket or two and uh, and this is uh, bisma who's uh, gone big wicket for south african women let's see how this happened flight came down the wicket got beaten in the flight and was bowled big wicket for south africa could this be the start of a famous panic pakistan lose bisma and uh, she's been dismissed for 27 of 26 pakistan 91 for 2 take a part of the bat some running here some chasing to be done who will win this race it's got to be the ball 100 up 102 for 2 pakistan in 14.1 overs excellent shot played in the gap good result for pakistan current is 7.2 required 8.4 reverse off her just get some part of the oh it's fallen she's gone the ball just hops and goes onto the stumps not the smartest of moves from Sidra but she pays for it at the same time and Pakistan lose their third at a very crucial stage set batter out for 61 played a top-notch innings for Pakistan now it's uh, for the rest of the batsmen to come and complete the job tries trying to play the reverse of the glove and into the wickets big wicket for south africa that of uh, sidra amin who's playing so well we uh, there was a lot of commentators curse this one that's an excellent shot over the uh, mid off fielder into the boundary excellent shot by muniba who was the catalyst the other day also for that chase that pakistan were successful in to win the first uh, game cap now back in the attack round the wicket and plays it high in the air has she got all of it yes she has what a shot from muniba got into a good position very early and it's got that maximum going do also matter one feels Good shot. The good part about that shot from Alia is she was looking to play in the V, but she realized the length's not there. She square cuts that into the gap. Muniba Ali's inclusion in the middle order. She skied this one though. Tough chance. Oh, valiant effort, but not enough. And the ball trickles into the fence. Muniba Ali has really come out all guns blazing she did offer an opportunity but intent is there for everyone to see oh there you go that's the boundary two straight on that occasion the final leg was up in the ring and all alia had to do is just use the pace and put it into the gap good finish to the over pakistan really dominating now 132 for three Big strike. Is it big enough? It is. Yes, it is. Alia Riaz, your little ripper. Down the wicket and pumps it over long off. What a strike. We'll get an opportunity to hit winning runs twice in a row. She smashes it. That has gone all the way. And that's win for Pakistan. They've clinched an important series victory, a historic series victory. The crowds are up on their feet. And Alia Riaz once again was there at the end. And this is fantastic moment for Pakistan cricket. A really a turnaround in the history of Pakistan women's cricket. Congratulations, Pakistan. What a win. What a great moment in the history of Pakistan women's cricket, clinching the series win against South Africa with a clinical run chase. Sidra Amin top scoring with 61. But that partnership between Muniba Ali and Ali Riaz made the chase very, very comfortable, getting there with five deliveries to go. 
Once again, South African bowlers failed to make any inroads. Laba with 2 for 20 was the pick. Here is how the match summary looked. South Africa 150 for 3. Pakistan ramming home with 5 deliveries to go and clinching the victory by 7 wickets. That's all from National Bank Stadium tonight. I hope you enjoyed the highlights. Until next time, it's goodbye.